So, this is kind of be a Jordy Does video. I got a lot of stuff going on here today. Uh, sweeping out sawdust, wheelbarrowing it out. I want to see if I can save this eagle. Let me turn the camera around. I hate being on the camera. See if I can try and save this eagle that I started like three or four years ago. And I just stopped working on it because I said I'm not good enough yet and um, I'm going to wait. I don't know if I'll be able to save it because, well, my old eagle heads were so freaking huge. We got a total bad cut Johnson there, but that's stuff we can fix later. Um, these wings, I'll talk more about this later, but the head's so big for the body. Let's see here. The head's so big for the body, it's a lot like native style. But I think my point is, I don't know if I carve this part too thin for the body. I might have to trim some more body down. But I got big huge anchor bolts in there to hold these wings on. So I don't know. Before I start carving the wings, I think I want to see if I can save the, the head and like maybe even chop it. We'll talk more about this later. But I got a few friends coming over to help load up this bench to take it to his new home. I got this dolly and I got that dolly. We can put them on the dollies, then roll them at my buddy's place. My buddy bought it and put them in the trailer and then unload them on the dollies or wheel things, whatever they are, at his place. So that's that. But I'll get all this stuff done when my buddies come over. Then we'll start focusing on this uh, eagle thing. Oh, yeah. Yesterday, I just finished um, carving these owls. I never filmed YouTube carving these, but this is a super old growth, well first growth piece of red cedar. It was an absolute, absolutely terrible piece of wood to carve, like pieces like this kept on chipping off. But I said to myself, man it's such a beautiful old, look at the different colors in here, in this wood. And all down here too, and here like darker and lighter. I said, I got to save this piece of cedar. It's so nice. And these are the uh, owl eyes that I made. I don't know if I like them or not, but I think they suit this piece, but not all of them. And here's the back. See, I spent about like five hours yesterday sanding. Just crazy sanding. Well, carving and sanding the rocks. So there's the back view. So, yeah, I, I like it. I can't wait to get a clear coat on here. I don't have any microphone in either. I can't wait to get a clear coat on here because that's when these colors are really going to pop. Let's do a spit test. See how, see how dark that one dark spot went and the other stuff will stay lighter. Oh, it's going to be awesome, but I'm going to, this piece of wood was so wet. That's why when I first started carving these owls in the winter, I said, screw it. I'm going to wait to finish it. Let the wood dry out, right? So I know those rocks aren't the best shapes, but what I tried to do, because there was big cracks down here, straight down. So I tried to hide the cracks the best I could, especially d deep down in here. Like there was a big crack. Whoosh, all the way up here so that's why the rocks aren't aren't the greatest but I, I call this a big save because like I said it was a terrible piece of wood but I'm glad this uh, old piece of cedar from like an old forest didn't get uh, chopped up for firewood now here's the back of this eagle see the big bolts in there you know if I would have done it now well I think I would have I don't know what I would have done if I'd done it now. <laughs> so I got it up on these dollies myself by using my um, my hydraulic jack. But the thing is, these are, uh, oh, here's some owl eyes I made myself too. These, uh, this is, 
just about eight feet and this trailer is eight feet two inches long so getting in there the fit is well it's not tricky if it doesn't fit we'll just tie the tailgate closed anyways there's some useless information oh yeah I got some smaller eagle you guys can see the lines there so that would be his head I don't know man I just don't know I think what I'm gonna do is just keep I'm gonna start here take a slice off one at a time till no oh, screw it I I don't know here's a thumbnail for the video can this eagle be saved Jordy does you know when I was just taking there's those birds back right now can you hear them oh yeah you're gonna start shitting everywhere Does this have to be an eagle? Why can't I just make it a carving fusion bird? Huh? Like look at this cool line here. If you look at this, here's his normal beak and his other thing. But if you look at that line, you know it's pretty neat. Anyways. Hey, you guys did a great job loading that bench on the trailer for me. Thanks so much. And uh, Dr. L, officially happy birthday, buddy. Thanks, Matt. Okay. Okay. So I'm already much, much happier with that. Yes, I am. So what I'm going to do now is draw the beak on. This wood is a little bit cracked, too. There's a big crack coming down here. I'm going to... Um, Draw the beak on, and then um, let's just, it's still going to be a native, this head is still big compared to the body, it's still a native style eagle, but it's a bit more proportionate now. The struggle is real friends, the struggle is real. Okay, I could push these eyes back a bit, because the eagle's beaks are actually pretty long. Um, I could cut these eyes back a bit. I think what I'm going to do is, let's see how this will work. I'll set the camera on the tripod like this for a little bit. I don't know if, know if I need to, but I'm going to be using my little Echo 2511 with the 8-inch car carving bar on there. Look at the sky. Beautiful day. Still really early in the morning. Trailer's loaded, ready to go. Let's get this uh, head shaped. Who remembers the bear? There it is. The world's famous first carving fusion bear. That's actually my first chainsaw carving, but anyways. So. The head's a lot smaller now. That's what I struggle with when it comes to eagles and realism, is that the heads are always way too big. I'm a lot happier with this now. Like, where's that? Uh... So here's the old size of the beak, and here's the new size. So, it's definitely not going to look like what I want it to look like, but it's okay. I'm going to make it look like, well, I'm going to try and make it look like an eagle. If it doesn't turn out to be an eagle, that's fine. It's not an eagle. I don't like how thin this part is here. I like it to be, I like the, the beak to be more of a solid piece like pretend that wood was up here but it's okay that's the way I shouldn't be practicing on this piece but I'm not practicing I'm trying 
Now if you look at this, if you look at it, this angle here, that, because I had all that fur carved in there before, I had to carve it all away. So now the neck's a little bit pretty thin because I think his feathers should be coming off like this from his head, like his white mane. So that's gone. And I'm not going to sit here and glue on a piece of wood. So I think that I think that kind of is what it is. What I can do to try and make that neck look not so... And I'm just showing you people from friends like... If this doesn't turn out, it doesn't turn out. Like I said from the beginning of the video, I'm trying to save it. I think I could try and thin down some of this head, like take some of this off and take some of this off. And then his neck won't um, be so thin. So I'm going to do that and then I'll be right back. Because it looks like a, like a bald little baby chiclet right now. Anyways, carry on. This year is a never-ending supply of blackberries. Oh yes, it's a good it's a good year. Holy, look at them all in here. Yep. So I'm liking the way this is looking a lot better now. Like I said, I wish his beak was a bit thicker here, but that's okay. Like wider. That's how you learn. I gotta start making smaller beaks, smaller heads. This side looks pretty good. See all this here? I'll fill all that in with uh, sawdust and um, that Gorilla Glue or even some cedar shims, put them in and put the Gorilla Glue in there. Even look down here, like, oh that's a sour one. That's better. I think I'm going to pull out my uh, die grinder now and clean it up a bit. Ha! <laughs> I missed! Um, it's better than it was before, I think. Anyways, you guys might not think. You know, I just, uh, could probably slope his head back a bit more here I don't know but for some reason when I'm carving I like my eagle heads to look more square everything kind of square that's just kind of the way I am but um, it is what it is and like I said it's just I think I've done okay at saving this it's still far from done um, another thing too carving below this big cottonwood tree now when I'm sitting there curving, I got bugs flying all over me and flies, and I, I, I don't like insects. I hate spiders. You could probably put a gun to my head and I'll laugh. Well, actually, it's happened. But spiders and insects, I just don't like. So I'm going to be wheeling this into my tent. It's like 2 in the afternoon now. I got to take the trailer, the chair to Buddy's house. And another friend of mine, Frank, has a compressor for me. So I'm going to get a new compressor, a new, a new old compressor that's not so loud as that piece of shit that I got in there. And I'll wheel this in here. I'm wondering if I should... Let's go around back here. This, see this? 
this hole's been in here ever since I got the piece. I think me and my buddy Fuck Bob got this uh, uh, this piece of wood on Port in Port Renfrew off the beach with his quad, and uh, like th I've had this piece of wood for four or five years. Look how tight the green is on it. The grain's so tight there you can't even see it. But so, because I got this gap in here, I'm gonna, okay so, another thing too, I can't make this body any thinner because the big leg bolts that are coming in here, I don't want them to stick out. This whole piece is probably gonna be painted black, maybe white up here, I'll see. But these wings are so thick, first growth too, um, I can shape them. I can give them movement so they're not just flat wings. You know, like I can, I can make it so this part is forward and down part goes back that way. If that makes sense to you. So I can make it so I can give it movement. But so since this is already gone here, here's some bark. This is already sloped. This I'll slope the bottom down, then I'll slope the top. Um, yeah, so I'll cut the top. Anyways, whatever. I know I'm getting ahead of myself, but the big here's the big leg bolts in there. So, what I could do today is finish off the day with putting some sawdust, get some of the sawdust out here from here, and put it in here with the glue. So that's all done. Cause it's going to be painted anyways. I just don't know. One thing I do know is I'm getting my forklift and taking this into the shop. Why I'm taking this into there so bugs don't fall from there and go down my shirt like just happened. The eagle has landed. Okay, so this gap here. I'm pretty sure it needs to be filled, filled in. Sorry, I'm just processing things when I'm talking here too. So you can see there's one here too. But I'm going to take, yeah, it has to be filled in to carry this head back here. Um, this is what I learned from Ryan Cook. This is Gorilla Glue. This stuff foams up on, on this stuff works with wet wood. This wood is, seems pretty dry though, but you never know. But this stuff acts like a foam. This glue here, this brown stuff. So I got this sawdust here. So I'm gonna mix it in the sawdust and then start shoving it in the hole in there. And you know it takes about an hour or something to dry or the real cure time is like three hours and you can carve this stuff when it's dry I just got to make sure there's no little stones in the sawdust you don't want to hit that with your chainsaw but I suggest wearing gloves when you mix this glue in here because this glue is like well it will stay on your hands for three days it's impossible to get off it's like that spray foam stuff so I'm gonna get this mixed in here and um, some gloves on I mean some gloves on and mixed in. Don't be afraid to use lots of glue. 
So just mix it up till you get a big clump. Uh, say it will turn out kind of like Play-Doh. Yep. Carry on. Okay, see when it's clumpy like this? Could even be some more glue in there. But that's when you just get it. Sorry, I know it's bad lighting. But jam it in that hole. <laughs> so, you know, it's going to keep on. So it's going to start expanding pretty soon. It's going to start expanding. So when it expands... Say if you use this glue, to, say if you use this glue and you you're putting a dowel in there, you put the glue in, you put a dowel in, without the saw. Okay, you use the glue without the sawdust. You put the glue in here. You put the glue around the dowel. You put the dowel in the hole. That glue's going to try pushing that dowel out, right? Because it expands. So just keep an eye on it and just keep pushing it back in. So yeah, I, I don't really want to pull out all my carving gear and stuff right now. So I'll just kind of bum around here and uh, keep pushing this glue back in there so let's see get some better lighting so I should have closed that door so you can see all oh, this is full of that glue now and it's gonna keep expanding that's bad lighting too sorry see like and then these wings would be painted black right and hopefully we'll hide the glue Okay, everybody so that was like uh, 25 minutes of hyperlapse and then I sped it up some extra so that was you guys can see how many times in my blue gloves were in there that how many times I had to push it down now if you still need to keep you sitting here pushing it down I think the more the more you keep pushing it down the more compact it makes because like I said this glue is like spray foam and um, it just keeps expanding and it creates little bubbles inside there. So I think, the, like it, this is just my opinion, the more that you're here pushing this stuff down, the more compact it will be. And, you'll get, and you won't get any little air pockets or air bubbles in there. So we'll, we're going to leave this video here because I want to get out of here. Um, and we'll see how much this glue has swollen up by tomorrow morning it'll be completely dry by then I'll push it down a couple more times off screen but we're gonna this will be a video series I think tomorrow you'll see it's got some wing pattern kind of shaped in there tomorrow we're gonna uh, I'm gonna carve the wings and this will be a series we'll call it save the eagle wood carving series save the eagle is it eagle seagull Parrot? Bird? I don't care, it's a bird. Okay, bye. Here's the last shot of my first bench. Next bench I make, you'll be able to take it apart, then put it together when you sell it to somebody. Okay, so I had to cut, I dropped off the bench. Uh, my friend was super happy. We had a few people helping us. Um, I had to bring a piece of plywood back that I borrowed from the farmer. So I put that back in there. So let's, t I turned the lights on in here already. Let's see how hard that, um, that glue is in there. So it didn't really come out that much more. Pretty damn hard. And uh, it will be even harder tomorrow. So I'm gonna edit this video today and I'll see how long it is. If it's too long, this will be the first video and if it's not that long, well, I'll just carry on and tomorrow we'll carve these wings. Also, I don't know if I'm going to carve the back of them. I don't know. This can just kind of go against a wall. or Terrible lighting. This can kind of go against a wall or something. But anyways, I'm going to take a picture of that so I can stare at that eagle head tonight. Beak's pretty thin. But, I don't know. 
anyways